What's up you guys, today we're in Nintendo Land and we are in front of the Toadstool Cafe. Let's go on in there and let's go see some of the crazy foods they have. Let's go. This is insane. Check this out. Wow. Okay, we gotta find out where our reservations are at. All right, here it is. The Toadstool Cafe. Wow, good thing we made this reservation, y'all. I'll sell you my reservation, a thousand bucks. Dang. Why are you hitting it so hard, man? I don't think you gotta do it that hard. <laughs> That's so sick. So Jake, all of the foods have like little decorations, little Mario's, little hats, Princess Peach crowns. That's pretty dope that they're doing this. Like, I mean, just looking around at this place, truly incredible amount of work that they put in. Like, this is everything that you would see when you're playing Super Mario Bros and everything. I will say they are definitely over capacity of people in Oh, here right for now. sure. And that would explain why this whole theme park is sold out. I've never seen that in my life before. We are here with Exploring with Josh, and he unfortunately didn't buy a ticket ahead of time. Like, we were smart and we did, and he couldn't get in. Yeah. So so he's gonna be outside hanging by himself because we drove him here. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. And the other thing is, is like, we're not just gonna leave right away. Like these yeah. tickets ain't cheap, you know? Yeah, we're gonna have some fun. Okay guys, we made it inside. Let's go see what it looks like inside. Oh my God. Oh wait, another line. Everything looks really freaking good. I'm not gonna joke with you right now, so I think we might have to literally order one of everything or one of most. I think one of most. This is gonna cost a pretty penny, so if you're watching this right now, please smash the thumbs up. Share this with a friend, you guys. The only way I'm able to do this is because of you guys. Let's order everything. Rodrigo, how you doing, my man? Good, man. good, good, good. Okay, so we're gonna get a big order. We're gonna get the, uh, the toadstool garlic knots. We're gonna do this super mushroom shrew. Then next, we want the chef's toad short rib special. Unfortunately, I'm completely out of that. No! Sorry about that. Okay, no worries. Then we'll get uh, the browser fireball challenge. Extra fire. All right, all right. And then we want to get the Mario burger, the Luigi burger. We'll get the spaghetti and meatballs. Where is it first? Give me the tiramisu. And then let me get this princess peach cupcake. And then I want this one superstar lemon squatch. And then uh, two water cups also. Two water cups at first. I ran out of money. I can't buy the water bottle. I don't got that much. Tell us the damage. Your total is going to be 131 and 31 cents. Jesus. We're balling out, you guys. Hit the subscribe button right now. Damn it, see, I told you I didn't have the money. Wait, come on, please. Yes, yes. All right, guys, we're back in business. Oh, there you go. Whoa. Can you sprinkle some more? I can, not but it's gonna overfill on them. Oh, uh, okay. And all the stars fell to the bottom. Uh, I wanna see them, you know? There mm -hmm. we are, look at, get that shot now. Boom, baby, boom. Thank you so much for doing that. I appreciate you, man. I'm gonna have to take a sip oh, of that man, right now. I'm gonna take a sip right now, man. Oh, it shoots out of your throat like boba. That's amazing, but it's fruit. Oh, little boba fruit balls. Oh, thank, thank you. you. All right, let's go find a seat. Seems like a pain in the ass. Oh my God, it's, look at this place though. Hey, Steph, how are you? We're doing fantastic, we're here. Can you get a name for the reservation? It's Brennan. Doesn't matter what it was under, right? My name's Brennan. I wish I got a hat. Everyone's got hats in here. Look at this. First time you'll ever see an aesthetic trash can. Wow. You know, don't slip. Oh, good table. My man Alfredo hooked it up with the best table in the house. You guys, look, we got a booth. Appreciate Thank you, you, my man. Yo, I want to jump in the little tunnels. Straight up off the bat, just as a viewer and a consumer for my own purpose, like this place is beautiful. Everything looks like they spent a lot of time working things here. I mean, even down just into the details of it's the like wood. It's like hand-painted. Everything's hand-painted in here. Everything looks beautiful. You really do feel like you're in Super Mario World. Even though this is Nintendo World, it feels like Super Mario World, honestly. It is crazy. It's only been there for a month and it's already like shipping. I mean, you got to think, everybody going like, oh, look at this, and touching shit. But this place is awesome so far. Let's hope the food is as good as it looks here. Oh wow, look, there's something going on on right here and it's like a window oh no is that bowser that bastard wow this is crazy notice how it's like a window like you're looking outside yeah we're inside one of the houses huh that is so creative and the lights are queued up look they're, they're flickering yeah, yeah, like it, it's like the weather and stuff like everything flickers i don't know if you guys can see the place will dim even these are blinking pretty cool and now it's back to normal we're back to daylight bowser is gone and we are living good it's back to the good old days free of bowser yay this is really cool all right, check that out. Look at you can see that's like their kitchen and they're cooking all of our food right now. Wow, Chef Toad. Just look at everybody's food that comes out just comes out so aesthetic. You just stack yes. it all in the middle. All right, well that's that's a little bit of time. <laughs> we got the soup. 
Mario Burger. Thank you. All right, we got, we also have our Princess Peach cupcake followed by our famous garlic knots, and we will continue to show them. Just keep just pushing keep it, it going, in. man. We hope you like, you know, it would be nicer if we had a conveyor belt. <laughs> yeah. But then we have the Bowser Challenge as well as the Tiramisu followed Amazing. by Amazing. A collection of very similar fruits and cutlery. Thank you. So all of our food is here, and I am blown away at the presentation. Everything looks absolutely incredible. And I think let's start with the starter. We'll start with the knots, and then we'll start working into the bigger plates. We can also start with the soup, too. First things first is their knots. So what makes these interesting is that they're all shaped like little mushrooms. Let's kind see how of, good they yeah. are. Kind they of. They look fire. They do look fire. They're thick, man. Real thick. Thicker than I would imagine. They're cold because we've been shooting thumbnails. Right. Oh, oh, God. oh God. really thick though, really doughy, but really good taste. The garlic is fire. Mm -hmm. The parmesan on top. That's a winner, man. Mm. The bread is just really, really dense. That is really good. Look, guys, we've been on a diet for the past three weeks now, and we're breaking it today. Our first cheat day, and let me tell you, we're eating good. I can guarantee you we're probably going to eat all of this today. I guarantee we should Except weigh Except for our... that cupcake. I'm going to have a bite of How it. How are we going to weigh ourselves right now? You're right. I weighed myself this morning. I weighed 154. I'm 170 right now. So we'll see after we'll weigh ourselves. <laughs> this is really cool because they pretty much print a little mushroom guy on top of the cracker. So let's try it. This is like a mushroom soup and it's a mushroom on, the, on it, so. Why does that taste like, like a McFlurry? That's fire. It, it's, it's mushroom soup, but it tastes like a chocolate McFlurry. Doesn't it not? Like an Oreo McFlurry. Like an Oreo McFlurry, yeah. That's really interesting. Really interesting. I would drink it though. You already got it all up in your teeth, man. <laughs> we eat good today. I could drink this. This is really good. We're I'm gonna put this off the side it. because we have a lot more to go at right now. All right, so, so which do one a, do you want to start with? A burger each. Let's just go for a it. Burger each. Okay, do you want a regular burger or? You, you decide which one you I want. I kind of want this chicken pesto. What I have in front of me is a Luigi chicken pesto basil with giant bell pepper in the middle. Green bell pepper. Wow. It looks incredible. I think it's like, what cheese is that? The one with the holes? I don't know which one it is, but I got like fired. a basic cheeseburger, bacon, tomato, lettuce, some chipotle on there. They actually put the little mustache. That's really cool. Look at Luigi's mustache is different than Mario's mustache. Hello. It's -a me, a Luigi. I'm taking this home. Oh, mine got some shrimps in here, take too. Take this home. Okay, yeah, free, free, well, like, free. What if, they, what if they take it off the table, you know? They put it in your pocket now. Here, I'll take and it. And it comes with truffle fries. Oh, you guys, I'm taking this home. I don't know what you're going to do with it. Put it in my burger when I get home. Make my own. If I have a girl over, you know what I mean? I'm going to press it. Okay, okay, okay. Freeze. Here we go, here we go. Yeah. Eat. Should we put our sauces? I don't got a sauce. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing, y'all. As a mouthful. Quality of meat and mine is not, not there. You can see, yours looks a little funky. Yeah. Mine is really good. I mean, not really good. It's good. It's definitely a like, thick piece of uh, chicken breast in there, so it is a little bit more on the drier side, but it does accompany with this, I think it's like a pesto sauce, so this does help it out a lot. I will say, though, that, that giant bell pepper that's in the middle almost makes it such a mouthful that you really don't have room for much more in there. It's hard to chew, but overall, flavor, I would give this one a solid probably, ask for a chicken sandwich, a six. What would you rate your burger? Uh, mine's like a three, honestly. Like, it looks like it's gourmet, but it doesn't taste like it's gourmet. Interesting. Bang. I'm still gonna go ahead and eat this because this is a $24.99 burger. Mmm, this is good. Put a lot of that on there. Mmm, this sauce really saves this sandwich. Without it, it would be really dry. So I'm glad that it comes with a bunch of extra because it's actually even on the sandwich itself. Look how much they put on here. And you still need more. But overall, really good. How are the fries? These are all truffle fries. So they're not truffle at all. It's not like a like a truffle oil. It's almost like a truffle season, like fraudulent truffle. But not bad fries though. Overall, that sauce is amazing. That sauce is amazing. Don't eat it all. Cause I'm gonna put some mm. more on that. Who's your favorite character in the Super Nintendo Super Mario World? Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Oh, that's different. Well, that is a good one. I always thought Princess Peach was pretty, so I like her. But I also don't remember the little mushroom guy's name. Oh, it's Toad. Oh, this is his cafe. This is his cafe. I don't even know his name. I like Toad. I always play with him at Super Nintendo. When I'm playing Super Mario Bros, I'm playing as Toad, guaranteed. So what I'm gonna be pushing down my throat next is some spaghetti. I don't know the name of the flower, so maybe someone in the comments can put it there. It has mushrooms in this, mixed into this uh, the spaghetti sauce. I will say it does look a a little bit dry it's spaghetti. Like, it doesn't yeah. look like there's a lot of sauce. Jake's looks really cool. I thought this was a burger. I don't even know what that is. I think it's like a giant meatball. And it comes with like a buffalo sauce that looks super oily. I don't know if I should just pour it. Ooh, I don't know, but I do know that that little Bowser face right here is really cool. Can you hold that to the camera so everyone can see? It's like it, a puff pastry. That's really interesting that they do something like that. Like, here we go. As you can see, there's not much like sauce to it. It's really two big scoops. Mmm, interesting. 
Mm, the meatball is good. Meatball is fire. But everything else is just that. I'm a little disappointed in the spaghetti. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. It's flavorless. They do put chili peppers, uh, like the chili flakes in here because it does have a little bit of a spice and I can kind of see it. It doesn't help the spaghetti at all. The spaghetti is very bland and plain and it's almost like needed something else when they were making the sauce. It's like they use the sauce with no like salt or anything. They just use like tomato sauce rather than yeah. spaghetti sauce. I will say, you gotta expect that this place is probably turning out so many people per day. Oh my god, you guys saw so the like, line and they have literally reservations every 15 minutes of new people and they're booked up today. I almost seem like it's like not the best quality food. You're spending a lot of money. You're spending a lot of money for it to look really cool for you to take some pictures, share it with your friends because that's what it is. I mean, it really is cool to look at. But something I am interested in, oh god, it's falling apart. Something I am interested in is this little cookie thing. Let's see what it's about. Is that what you get at church? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at my communion. Oh my god, it broke. I'm going for Bowser. That's weird. That is weird too. It's like a cookie, a cookie cracker. It's like a doughy cracker. Maybe it's like cheese actually. It kind of tastes cheesy. It's not a cracker, it's cheese. Interesting, you put it on your spaghetti. That makes sense. I don't even really want to try yours. I don't want to try yours either. I feel like yours is going to taste just like mine did, uh, the meatball. But that buffalo sauce is good. Good to know they can make buffalo oh, that, sauce. That one's way better. Really? Let's see what it's about. Mmm. This is actually pretty good. The sauce on this is really nice. With the buffalo sauce, it makes it more spicy, and it really goes with Bowser. That's why it's called like the Fire Bowser, or whatever he called it, it's because of all this like buffalo sauce that you put on it. Should we take this home too? I mean, we're taking things home. If you pick up some merch, BrandonTaylor.com, everything's on sale right now. Three lucky people are gonna be getting these in their items. I don't know what you're gonna do with them. Maybe put it on your own burger and pretend you came here. But look at, I'm putting them in my pocket, and they're going in your merch, in your merch orders. So buy some, BrandonTaylor.com. Okay, so out of everything that we ate, is there anything that you would go back to and keep munching on? And this one. This one's pretty good. I think I would go back to this chicken pesto sandwich and Just dunk it sauce. with that sauce because that sauce is incredible. Or the garlic things. Yeah. The knots, they're good. I can't lie. They're not bad, they're good. They could be worse. <laughs> they could be worse. We're gonna save you guys time, so if you ever come here, you know what to order and what not to order. This, I will say, comes out really cool, okay? It's literally like one of those things that they jump and go, like one of those boxes, but there's tiramisu inside. And it comes with this like little sauce. Let's try it. And mine's just gonna be a cupcake. It is my favorite, See? the rainbow, the sprinkled ones. You gotta have to unravel that and show it, but other than that, it has glitter on it and it's really pretty looking. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. No, it's a nice it's one. It's vibrant too. I really don't want any of that frosting. I just want a bite of the bottom. You gotta but... take one big bite, you know? Like, a, like get a little bit of everything. Go Jake. Oh baby, show that inside. This is a really good cupcake. Is it, is it, is it? Okay. For my tiramisu, oh, look it. I think a fourth? Oh no, that's edible. What's it called? White chocolate. Oh my wow. god. I was about to put that in my pocket and give it to someone who ordered something off the merch. That's the moistest thing I've had in a while. Moist, ugh, don't say that. We're gonna open the box and we're gonna see what's inside the box. Ready? And our tiramisu is born. Look at that, you guys. Really nice looking. Oh, look at that cut. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna dip it in this little red sauce that's down there. That is that's delicious. Good. And that's the best tiramisu I think I've ever had. Tara, I miss you. I miss you. This is the Tara I'm talking wow. about. Tiramisu, baby. Mm, wow. That's so fire. Try that. You gotta get more of that cupcake in yeah, there. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna go like this. Oh. The best thing here are the desserts. The desserts are off the chain. Oh man. The thing is about Jake and I, we don't have sweet tooth. So it could be subpar and we just are like, wow, this is our first time really eating sweets like this. Overall, food is pretty solid. Yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna let this go to waste because I'm actually a little hungry. Even though we have a big day of eating today, I'm gonna take a couple more bites of this. We'll get it wrapped up and we'll get out of here. And we're gonna go ride some rides. We're gonna ride the Mario ride here, guys. Stay tuned and get ready for that ride. Okay, this was definitely a cool experience, but there's so much more than just the restaurant. Let's check out Nintendo World. There's the ride, bro. Okay, there's the ride. Let's go. Wait a second. Do you see how long of a wait? 200 minute wait, you guys. I'm sorry, but we're not going on this ride. So here's a video of someone else riding this ride. I don't know who this is, but enjoy. Damn, I want that NASCAR suit though. That is hard. You think we'd give them 100 bucks to let us in? No, probably not, you guys. All right. All right, so right here there's a line and you literally just wait in line with these little Apple Watch devices. They're like a like, bracelet. And, and you, you like get points. Here's a shot of someone doing it. Check this out, watch this. on his wrist right there. This guy doesn't even want to wear it. Look at, look at. This is what he's going to do, ready? Oh, it's a game. Oh, it shoots something out, look at that. What's going to happen? Oh, he needs to shoot it right when it's in the middle and it'll shoot up and it'll hit that top one and he wins. See, look at it. He's going to time it. 
Ah, oh, too slow. I mean, they're really thinking things through here. Let's go check out Princess Peach's castle. But in the meantime, if you look right here, they're kind of doing this all over the park, or at least in Nintendo Land, because you get points on the app. There's like a whole little like game that you guys can do in the app and win stuff. If you guys have been to Harry Potter World, you know how like you can go around with the wand and make things happen? That's kind of the same idea. This is an interactive experience, and I think it's really cool. No wonder why it's completely packed and completely booked up. It's a cool experience. And like you don't even need to come here for the ride. You literally can just come here and just like play the games, right. which is cool. Or just look around. I mean, it's pretty to look at. This is what we came in from, Princess Peach Castle. All right, so since we're not actually gonna be riding the ride because of that 200 minute wait, I wanna give you guys my full exact rating on the restaurant. Honestly, it looks really cool. All the food comes out looking really aesthetic, but the taste isn't all there. A lot of stuff is kind of bland, unflavorful, but the experience is, is the food itself. So overall, what I'm gonna be rating this restaurant, I'm gonna give it a solid 7.2. It's cool to go to, it's cool experience, but the taste isn't all there. I mean, there's a line to get in here too. And they got a little gift shop. If you want something Mario, Luigi, Nintendo related, this is where you get it. What's back there? That's where the ride gets off. Uh, like the ride is connected right here where you get off and you go into the gift shop and then spend some money. They but always I wanna try to shop. sneak in. They're not gonna let you, they have security for a yeah, reason. That guy's gonna beat my yeah. He'll beat my little Mario away. Check this ride out. I don't even know what you do over here. So this one, you like crank it. Oh. What the? Damn. Admit that thing's moving. Oh, she's doing that. Interesting. You guys, come, come, come. It's Princess Peach, come on. Check her out, check her out. That's Brennan's future girlfriend. You know, I did have a thing for blondes with blue eyes, but I'm honestly over that stage in my life. Yo, she can make her eyes move. Wow. Whoa, the eyes look at you. Wow. I'm gonna say, I'm, and that's pretty cool. Like, they're definitely upgrading their costumes, but look at the damn line just to take a picture. Like, they told me I have to come back at two o'clock. It's only one right now. Forget it, we're not getting a picture with Peach. Anyways, you guys, I think this place is really cool. I think it's cool if you're a child or, you know, on a date or something like that, but if you're just two single dudes like Jake and I, this ain't really the place to be. Anyways, you guys, that wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up. Click on the merch. Brandontaylor.com, everything's on sale. Peace. Why, why, why you love my friend? Yeah. Cause friends with each other.